Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to play around a little bit more with Claude and talk about how we can use it to help with some accounting processes. Um, and today we'll focus on audit. So let's take a look at what we can use Claude for. There's quite a few things, um, starting with, let's say we are looking to come up with a test plan. Um, let's say we want to test you know, disbursements. Okay. So, um, hi Claude, you are going to help me come up with a test plan. I am a CPA auditor auditing, let's say, uh, you know, nonprofit with a large amount of payments and want to test disbursements. Say there are 100,000 records um, and maybe 20 different, I don't know, categories of expenses. What should we do for a test plan? So let's just see what it says. Maybe it'll come up with some suggestions on how to sample. Um, it'll just be kind of fun to see what it comes up with and we can go from there. Awesome, okay, so it's coming up with some pretty good recommendations here. So it says, let's consider key risk factors for nonprofit disbursements. Oh, that's pretty cool. Talk about restricted funds, um, large volume transactions, potential miscategorization risk of unauthorized payments, compliance with donor restrictions. Let's, um, let's pick one for fun. Let's say we want to focus on testing the um, compliance with donor restrictions. Uh, let's see what it says we need to do. Let's focus on compliance with donor restrictions. What kinds of documents should I request in order to test this? So again, you know, not something you would necessarily need to do if you're an auditor. Hopefully you already have a good sense of, you know, what to do here, but fun to sort of to pressure test how good is Claude at, you know, playing that role of helping to advise what the type of testing should be, what the type of documentation should be, things like that. So this gave us a comprehensive list of documents to request. You know, not all of these might be available potentially, but it seems pretty comprehensive to me. This is cool. Um, I like it. Now, let's say I want to actually have some Python code um, that I wanted to write for me to select a statistical sample. So let's get uh, go that path. Be like, okay, there are 50,000 transactions I want to test. I need high confidence. Can you write me a Python script to help select a random sample? I'm going to be very vague here and we'll see what it comes up with. Cool. So it is actually um, writing the Python code over to the side. It is being very good about documenting its code. So up here it's uh, importing the libraries. It's creating a function called audit sampling, which takes a pandas data frame of transactions. It's allowing me to put, this is great inputs of what my, what my confidence level to be the materiality percentage, <laughs> expected error rate, minimum sample size. This is pretty awesome. Um, and then it's just doing some calculations here. And uh, I guess it's got some strata weights. Not exactly sure what that means, but my statistician friends probably can weigh in there. Um, so this is pretty cool. I'm not going to try it out in this one. We can save that for maybe the next video where we test this out a little bit. But this is pretty neat. Um, you know what? Let's do one more thing. Okay. Now let's uh, instead create a web-based stats sampling with the same inputs and parameters, but in a reactive web uh, front end. So hopefully what this will do is, tar uh, you know, basically get it to write in JavaScript um, using React. And what this is uh, gonna be a little bit different, whereas Python, it wasn't gonna run the Python um, at least in this version, but it should actually run and render this code here. And we'll be able to see a working web page <laughs> with um, statistical sampling. Might even give us the ability to change some of the parameters around. So this will be kind of fun to see if it works. So let's see what happens here. 
creating the tables. Awesome. Oh, artifact failed to load. Let's just click the try fixing with Claude button. <laughs> so have it fix its own error. Pretty sweet. All right, so now it's trying again using a slightly different approach because the library that it tried using was not available. And uh, let's give it a shot. Writing the pretty React JavaScript code. Looks like a lot of the same stuff that we saw in the Python code. Oh no, it didn't work again. Come on, Claude. You should know what you have available to run in your environment versus not. Uh, we'll give it one more shot. If this fails, we'll just uh, say it wasn't meant to be this time. I gotta say though, for failing and rewriting, this is still a pretty fast iteration to be able to, you know, hopefully get this up and running in a matter of minutes. It would take me much, much longer to figure out how to write React JavaScript code and get it working. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, we got something working here. So we got our population size, confidence level, materiality percentage. I'm not sure how that plays into it because it doesn't say what it's a percentage of, but whatever. <laughs> Expected error rate. And then it says required sample size. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, oh, and this, this shows how to stratify the sample if we have these different stratums. I guess these are very high dollar amounts maybe, high, medium, and low dollar amounts, I'm not exactly sure. If we reduce the confidence level, hopefully it means we can test less items. Oh yeah, way less items. So it must be rerunning it and updating the number of the sample size as I update this. Or at least it's supposed to, there we go. <laughs> cool, and then if we change materiality percentage, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be related to specifically, but whatever. And then of course, if we change population size, it's going to change dramatically. So that's funny. Sample size, 97 out of 100. <laughs> well, anyways, hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you have any other thoughts or that you want to explore, and we'll take a look at it at the next one. Thanks. See you guys later.